Well, this discussion is about should we boycott SRAM and Shimano? Now, the reason why I say this is because we know that prices are going up and we know that these brands are limiting our choice that we have when we go and pick a group set. So should we look at some other group tips or look at alternatives? So let's roll an intro and let's have a look at what actually is available and what alternatives are on the market for it to choose. So then we can try and make a more competitive market and maybe tell SRAM and Shimano their prices and their selection is a little bit too high for price and a little bit too limited for selection for us people who want something a little bit different like mechanical or rim brakes. Now the obvious selection that we have is Campagnolo. Now Campagnolo obviously is one of the big three, but it's significantly below Shimano and SRAM and they don't get so many OEM bikes with Campagnolo on. They're very, very limited. So there's a significant step down. And Campagnolo have a pretty comprehensive brand. They've been in the industry for a long time and their products are complete and they work very, very well. Now, some may say they have a premium price, and that's probably true, and in the past, they definitely have, especially for the Super Record group set and the EPS, it was a really high vapor group set that you just about, when you uh, heard the price, you just about fainted. But what's actually happened is, is the SRAM and Shimano ones are now pricing in that same ballpark, and they've hit those same dizzy heights of Campagnolo. So the, the reality is now that uh, these prices are really compatible about the, among the, the top three. So choosing Campagnolo now is not really this huge price step up to those group sets. And especially since Campagnolo is still offering mechanicals, you can get the 12 speeds and the mechanicals, then you can actually step down your pricing significantly and the total price of your bike is going to be a lot more competitive, especially if you're building something up and you want specific components on that bike, which is what I like to do and a lot of other people like to do. So Campagnolo is definitely an option, but once we step away from Campagnolo, what else is really out there that we can, that we can choose from to really try and get these other group sets to bring their prices down a little bit? Now, there's a few on the market from brands that we already know, and one of those is Rota. Now, Rota worked on a hydraulic group set, and the first one was a 2 by by I think it was a 1, it was a 2 by 11 and then they changed that to a 1 by 13 because the problem is with that Rota hydraulic group set, they have a lot of problem with the front derailleur working really nicely, and they could, I don't think they could really get it to work with a nice, decisive, click or or step it, it had really very little feel a lot of people complained about that but the rear derailleur worked very very well the group set was well finished but it was very expensive and it still is very expensive if you go onto rotor website you can buy that and that uses a technology where the brakes are from Megura and it's completely hydraulic brakes and also the shifting is hydraulic so they're using not a hybrid system for the different controls from the braking levers, it's all the same, hydraulic. So that's another option, but I think what's happened with Rota from looking at their websites over the, and doing some research on it, which I did another video, which I'll link up the top here, it seems like they're kind of stopped promoting it. There's a very little update about their Rota system on their web page, and it seems like the last time that they Put anything into that website about their rotor group set was some time ago. So I don't know if that's actually still being supported. They might be selling stock that they already have, but I'm not too sure if rotor really are moving forward with supporting that group set because maybe of low sales or the cost of making it just wasn't worthwhile. Now, SFA have brought out a group set as well called the Wii. And this one is a, well, it's basically like the new Shimano 
12 speed that's come out, it has a partial, what would you call it, uh, wireless system on the front, but the back two derailers are wired. And this would probably be a fairly good quality because SFA have been making bicycle components for a while. They've been working with carbon fiber. They're a name that we're fully aware of and we've had the components before and the components have been reliable. So SFA are a product where you'd probably get a complete group set. It'd be fully supported as is with the rotor. But again, we haven't seen a lot of their group sets out in the world. I haven't seen any rotors in where I live in Perth, West Australia. And I haven't seen any of the SFA group sets in the wild here in Perth WA. So these groups, I don't know if they're selling in or how many they're selling, but it's uh, <laughs> they're almost extinct in the bicycle industry when it comes to just commercial purchasing of them. You don't see them in shops and you don't see them on people's bikes. Now that doesn't mean they're not good group sets. It just means that their, their market penetration has been very low. Now SFA have just announced a 12 speed that they've put out. So we're getting, that's getting the 12 speed competition as we're getting with Campagnolo, SRAM, Shimano, and the Rotor, which is a 13 speed, and Campagnolo also offer a one times 13 speed as well, but that's mechanical. So there is those options, but then we can actually jump to the Chinese brands, which is significantly cheaper. Now, the one that comes to mind, which I've obviously spoke about in a previous video, was the sensor. Now, the sensor, when I went and had a look at it and done a little bit more research on it, it, it does get some really good reviews. But I think one of the biggest problems with sensor is that when you buy the group set, it's kind of a, how can I say it? Like uh, they've made part of the group set. Someone's made something else. It's a bit of a mismatch. And it's not like you're when you buy the name brands that you're getting like a complete group set that's all integrated and works. It seems to have some oddballs. Like if you go for disc brakes, the disc brake system is made by someone else and it's kind of a cable hydraulic hybrid thing and that can talk some issues. And some have mentioned some of the quality controls with these can be a little bit annoying, but Sensor have been working on them, improving the components, especially in the braking levers, they had a few problems, but they're basically getting on their feet and they're getting these things sorted. But the reality is with these group sets is that they're considerably cheaper. And when you go for them, obviously you might have to do a few touching things up and getting it to work or just fixing up some things with quality control, but you saving a heap of money. They're significantly cheaper by a lot of money than the name brands. And if you want to just, if you're a person who's very price conscious, you can't afford to buy these expensive bikes, you can pick up Chinese frames, pick up these Chinese group sets and pick up Chinese wheels and you can build a bike considerably less than what some of these top brands are offering and still have a bike you can go out and ride, enjoy. And in reality, probably is going to go just as fast because even though they talk about aerodynamics and they talk about all this other stuff, the reality is that it really comes down to the engine, which is you on the bike and the power you can put out. Now, yeah, some of these top end bikes might have some marginal gains, but they are very small. So you're going to get to 97 or 98% there just from your personal fitness. The bikes are still carbon, the bikes are still light, and you can still set your positioning up, or if you want to put yourself in a more aero position, you can. These Chinese bikes will still offer all of this. But what we've what we've heard, if you go and watch channels like Trace Velo and so forth, is that they can be a little bit fiddly with their quality control, and you may need to do some, what do you call it, remedial <laughs> work with them to make sure that uh, you get them to work 100%. But once you do get them working 100%, they do work very, very well. So they're the options in the market. 
And I think that we should support some of these up and coming products because even if we went for Rota or the SFA, which are probably still in the same sort of price bracket of the big three, what we're doing is, is we're supporting those products and we're also driving more competition in the industry. Now, the more competition there is, the better it is for us because it makes them do more research and development and it makes them sharpen their pencil a little bit when it comes to pricing. Because I, I do feel that they've used COVID as as an excuse, but the prices are really getting out of control at the moment. And I think we probably do need to boycott SRAM and Shimano in some ways. Now, of course, in reality, that's not going to happen because they have deals with the, with the manufacturer of the frames and most of the bikes are complete bikes and that's how most bikes are sold. But if their sales start to taper off because people are, are changing their purchasing model, the, uh, uh, even if it's maybe 10 or 15%, then this is going to send a message back to these big manufacturers that their sales are declining, they're not increasing, and maybe you should have a rethink about how they're marketing their products to us, to consumers. So in conclusion, I would probably say if you run a number of bikes, which a lot of us do, we don't just have one bike, it's, we know the rule, N plus one. So N being the bikes you already have. Maybe we should try some of these things, get a secondhand frame, or if you're buying the new frame, maybe you're trying something that's a little bit different. And instead of going for your normal Shimano SRAM that you normally ride, maybe try one of these cheaper group sets. If they don't work out, it's not as if you've lost a lot of money. And you can afford to basically buy a number of these whole group sets for the price of the big name brand. So it's not as if you're taking a big risk. And I think maybe we should all consider that maybe in the future because I really think that... Uh, well, what I really don't like is it's not so much the cost. If you're paying for the cost and you're getting a really good product, I haven't got an issue. And if they're giving you the choice of what you want, you can buy a rim brake or a disc brake, you can buy electric or mechanical, and they're still giving you the choice. I must admit, I haven't got an issue with that as long as you can choose what you want and you're getting a quality product. But unfortunately, we're not getting that currently. So that's where... I've got a bit of an issue with it. And, and I think that uh, what they're offering the industry for the price is kind of not really up to par when you compare it with a lot of other products where you look at they're at the same price as these bikes that they're offering. And guys, leave your comments down below. What do you think? Do you think that your value for money for your quality control and your choice is really getting a bit out of control? Or do you think, hey, look, you know, they're offering electric, they're offering 12 speed. And really these prices are reflective and prices do go up and we're having inflation at the moment and there is COVID and we've probably got to wear it on the chin. Let me know what you think down below. Well, anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for this video and I will see you next video.